next you will need to check for the weld resistance between the plates and the web. Referring to this slide, the weld resistance is given by this formula. FWRD refers to the weld resistance of the connections. The A here refers to the drop thickness, which is given as 4 mm. The FVW refers to the, the design shear strength of the weld as given by this formula. The FU here refers to the table here for the grade 275, FU equals to 430. The factor beta W refers to S275 is equals to 0 0.85. The partial sector of safety, gamma M2, is equals to 1.25. Substitute the relevant value into the formula, you get FVW equals to 233.7 Newton per mm square. It is later being multiplied with the drop thickness equals to 4 mm. That gives you 934.8 Newton per mm square. You will expect the weld will be on both sides of the web. With that, you will need to determine the HP height of the plate, which is obtained from the summations of all these values 30, 60, 60, 60, and 30. That gives you a total of 240mm and the effective length will be 240-2A. Assuming the drop thickness from the end and the start are ineffective. This gives you a total effective welded length 232mm on one side and the resistance to the shear loop is to be multiplied with the L with the shear strength of the weld which will give you 433.7 kN on one side welding. In this case, you will have welding from both sides. This value will need to be multiplied by 2 which give you at 6 7.4 kN in total.